Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Luke here and welcome to Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for Nintendo Switch. We made it to the gold mouth exit dock. There we go. But we don't want to leave just yet. All right. What is that thing? Oh, is that an enemy? Here we go. Morgue Crabble. How did we do okay. this? All right, press Time A. To take you down. Here we go. Starting it off good with a battle. Ow. Come on. All right, got a little money there. Six gold. In the heat of battle, everything's about location, location, location. If you move around to your opponent's blind spot, it'll be much easier for your attacks to connect. My old man practically drilled that into me. He used to be a merc, don't you know? You really take after the guy, don't you think? Or I do. Well, actually, I guess you wouldn't know. Huh. <laughs> All right. Hey, aren't blades the coolest things ever? Yeah, they are. They're all like kapow, and you use all those flashy weapons, and they fight with the power of friendship. Wow, pretty impressive. When I grow up, I want to be a driver too. I can get my own blade, and we can be a team, and it'll be the best thing ever. Having a living sword does sound pretty awesome. All right. Looks like we're headed over here. There we go. Here's the accessory shop that we were looking for. Ah, ah Rex, good to be seeing. Hey, Shinian, you should get that thing we talked about before. Ah, Rex finally save up money to purchase? You got it. Can I have a look? Uh, what are we buying? Abyss Vest. 5,000 Gs. Okay. Maximum HP by 24%. Uh, looks like we only got one, so yeah, let's buy it. Why Rex suddenly have much more money? Salvage some amazing treasure? I've taken on a big job direct from the chairman. I got a... 100,000 G's just for the advance payment. Hey man, I wouldn't be flashing that around. Wow, that's quite impressive. But I'll be going into uncharted waters, so I want to make sure that I'm prepared. This accessory is sure to protect Rex. Shinin guarantee. Shinyini. Ah, I'm saying that wrong. Good luck on the job. Alright. Right, now that that's sorted. And I've still got a fair amount of cash left. Time to send some back home for the folks at Fonset. I best go see Melolo at the Central Exchange again. Alright, you finally got the Abyss Vest you've always wanted. It'll boost your maximum HP by 24%. Right now, the Abyss Vest is the only accessory you have, but you're sure to encounter a whole lot more during your adventure. Just remember that you can need to equip accessories to benefit from their effect. So, go to Main Menu Characters to Character Setup Accessories to do so. Alright. Uh, core store? Oh, we don't have a blade yet. And I think that's what we need. Alright, looks like we're going the wrong way. Let's head this way. There it is. Rex, back again? Did friend forget something? No, I didn't exactly forget anything. I just decided to make a cash transfer. Rex find money on the floor? Not on round here. Very particular about money, so it should turn in even small change. No, I didn't actually pick up any small change. Actually, I got my hands on a big sum. Big sum? Like 2,000 Gs? Huh. I'd rather not brandy the number about too much, but... More like a hundred thousand? Hundred thousand? Not so loud. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry much. But where Rex get all that gold? Actually, no. No need to tell Melolo. Melo do not want to get mixed up in shady business. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Any hoodles, Rex. Melo not able to accept such a large amount here anyways. Should take directly to Courier. All monies Melo except here always delivered through Courier called Max. Oh, okay. Max, I know him. I didn't know he was also delivering the money for me all this time. Huh. Well, this certainly makes things quicker. Friend know where to find Max? Yeah, I'll be just through the Argumentum Bazaar, right? Thanks, Melo. All right, so now we're looking for Max. Max, Max, where'd you go? Was That that may have been one of the guys we talked uh, to earlier uh, in the last episode. Yep, it was. Hey, Max. I'd like to transfer some money. Why, if it isn't Rex, pretty rare for a client to drop cash off in person. It's a big sum this time, so Melolo said I should bring it straight to you. 
You're quite the guy. You know, not many people send all this money back to their folks every single month. Huh, it's not that big of a deal. How much are we talking? I don't want to completely empty my pockets, so after leaving a bit for myself, I'll... Let's say... Oh. Okay, I guess we're sending <laughs> nine-tenths of it. Alright, can you deliver 90,000 Gs to Corin of Fonset Village, please? Whew, that's quite a healthy sum. Did you haul up some huge treasure? Something like that. I took on a big job from the chairman. Now that that sounds like a piece of pie, I'd like a piece of. Oh yeah, I got a delivery for you too. Good thing you dropped by, else I had to track you down. It's from your same Auntie Corin, of yours, actually. Oh, it's Braised Cloud Sea Shark. Mmm, it looks delicious. I'll have to dig into that later. Thanks, Max. Take care of the transfer for me, okay? You can count on me. Nice. Alright, we got a little food, too. Hello there, friend Rex. Rururi, proprietor of Whiteside Salvaging, at your service. No need for introductions with me, Rururi. I was thinking of going to check out some cylinders in a bit. Well, that's perfect timing. Rururi just getting a new, brand new cylinder type. If having time, friend want to test out. Really? You'd let me? Rex's up-and-coming star of Salvager World. If Rex approve of quality, easier for Rururi to sell. It's not every day you get a chance to test out a brand new product. I'd be happy to help. Then it's settled. Come see Rurui on a rear deck shortly then. Rurui will make preparation. Gotcha. Alright, well. Oh, he's right in front of me. Alright, the salvage deck. This is a brand new cylinder. Please test out the nearby salvage point and tell Rurui impressions from using. Alright then. Leave it to me. Alright, I guess this is what we do. Time to learn about salvaging. The icon you can see in front of Rex right now marks that we call a salvage point. As long as you have cylinders handy, you can go salvaging it at one of these points at any time. Follow the on-screen instructions and hit the button at just the right time to get your hands on some treasure. Time it right and you'll get high quality treasure, but if your timing is off, the value of your treasure will decrease. There are salvaging points all over all rest, and the type of treasure varies from point to point, so if you find a new one, be sure to give it a try. By the way, if you're short on cylinders, you can buy them at the salvager shop. You'll find these shops all across Allrest. An expensive cylinder is likely to get you better quality treasure, but even a cheap one can yield a decent haul. So use your gold as you see fit. For the moment, you'd better use the cylinder that Ruri gave you and see how it goes. So is the cylinder, is that like an oxygen tank or something? Something. Alright. Yep, let's use it. Silver cylinder. Oh, I can't wait. Now let's see what. Oh. Time. Oh. Psh. oh well, I got one of them. <laughs> he kind of just tripped off the edge. Oh, I demand a do-over. Yes, please. What do we got? Some little gears. Fancy bolts, dark gray spring. Okay, so there, it's like um, other parts. All right, well, we don't have any more cylinders. Man, I can't believe I messed that up. Okay. So you got to get it in, the, in the, the middle of the ring. All right, look like a friend have all finished. How was the new cylinder? Uh, I mean, it was good. <laughs> I guess we weren't that good. Fantastic. That's good to hear. Ruri hope other savagers feel the same way. At any rate, thank you so much for your help. Also, here, give friend present for three normal cylinders. Can use in same place as before. <laughs> Happy salvaging. All right. If friend ever run out of cylinders, please b drop by the shop at any time. We make deal. All right, let's try that again. I guess I got a bit distracted. What was I meant to be doing again? Hmm, I guess I should stock up on food supplies. I've got that braised cloud sea shark now, but I could do with a bit more. Yeah, I'll visit Fishy Fishy on the third floor. Then I should be all set. All right, before we go fit, go to Fishy Fishy, let's try that one more time. Make up for last time. Now we've got a normal cylinder. Let's try this again. Time for some treasure hunting. Yeah. Time. Oh, come on. We botched it again? This looks like it'll be something good. 
Well, at least he didn't demand a do-over. Oh, some cr Crabble? I think those guys were called Crabble. And a pink one. Is this a rare one? Crimson Gear. No! He lost the upper hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, we missed? Come on, man. There's three of them we gotta deal with. Oh, we missed again. Oh, we died! It's fine, we'll get him yet. Oh, wow. We totally straight up died after that, okay. I didn't realize we had such low life right now. All right, well, let's use some more salvage gear and get some more parts. We'll save one more. Oh, I can't wait. Let's try to get some. Time. Oh, we got it. There we go. At least we didn't trip off the side that time. Oh, I love the smell of salvage. Do you? Ugh. I figured it'd smell all musty and stuff, but who knows? Maybe it smells good. No! Alright, let's try this. Hand. Let's try this again. Ha! And watch my HP this time. Alright, we gotta stop missing. Ha! Yeah! Anchor shot! Ha! There we go. Love this was a nice little thing there and a treasure chest. Treasure acquired. What do we got in here? Oh, some gold butterfly lens. Nice. Okay. I guess the chest stays there too. I guess it doesn't disappear. Hmm. All right. Okay. Time. Looks to like we got another crabble. Yeah. 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 There we go. I guess it was just because there was three of a three of them teaming up on us. All right. Uh, so we're going to the third floor. This is how we get up there. I see some stairs. Nope, that doesn't go anywhere. All right. And it looks like that doesn't go anywhere either. So let's head back inside. All right. There's that guy that sells the tanks. I feel like we should buy some more accessories. Oh, they're not even gonna let us. Okay. I'm like, well, we got the vest, but we can make ourselves stronger with some more gear. They're not even gonna sell us any gear. All right, the Bower Lounge. Let's see, what's what's in here? Oh, nope. <laughs> you go up to the door and they just pop up. They're like, uh-uh, you're not getting in here. What a fine day for a salvage. All right, looks like we gotta go higher still. Ah, here's the fishy fishy. Welcome, friend. Now then, what should I buy? All right, grilled anchor tail, oyster stir fry, or marine stir fry. Well, plus 5% HP and party gauge gain. Eh, why not? Let's go all out. We want a good dinner, right? We'll buy one. Actually, we'll buy one of each. There we go. So we got something of everything. Thank you for custom. All right. So we complete the big job preparations. Didn't get any experience or gold or anything, but we pushed the story along. All right, right. I got the accessory I wanted, and I'm all sorted for food. I think it should just about do it. There's still some time left before I have to leave, so maybe I'll rest up at the inn. I could head back to Gramps to rest, but he might try to give me another lecture, so yeah, the inn seems best. I have plenty of cash left, and it can't hurt to rest in a nice comfy inn, comfy bed once in a while. The inn should get skip past Rumbletum Canteen. Let's get moving. It's nice that it's kind of showing us where everything is in this, uh... What, I forget what this place was called, the Trading Outpost or something like that. But they're kind of taking you from where you can buy food, where you can buy cylinders, all that good stuff. Ooh. Alright. Let me quickly explain about lodgings. 
When you take a short rest in a lodging facility like an inn, you can use any bonus XP you've earned to boost your level. Bonus EXP is is the experience you earn when completing quests or discovering landmarks. Be sure to rest at inns on occasion so you can use it. If you've come up against a foe that you just can't beat, do a few quests and build up your bonus EXP, then go to a lodging facility and level up. On the other hand, if you're the type that likes a challenge, you'll be free to never level up at lodgings at all. You can be fun to live dangerously. Anyways, you've got a big day ahead of you tomorrow. You better get some shut-eye. Alright. The Moor Inn. Welcome to Lemoore Inn, rest place of all traders. I'd like to rest up a bit. Thanks very much for custom. We have rooms free. Alright, 100 G's. Sounds good. Ooh, and we can level up. Sounds good. Let's level up to three. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. Good, good. Alright. So we finished leveling up. Nice. Ah, this really is different from sleeping in the in that little hut on Gramps' back. For some reason, I even feel like I got a bit stronger. Anyways, better head to the next meetup point. It was a Goldmouth exit dock down on the ground floor, right? I guess there's still time to look around. Goldmouth's a bit longer if I want to, but it shouldn't dawdle too long. Who knows, maybe now they'll let us buy some accessories. Alright, a number of shops are now available for you to use. You'll find a whole range of different traders as you journey across Allrest. Argentum Trade Guild is known as the hub of all rest commerce, so naturally, you'll find a plethora of different shops here. While you're here, you should make sure that you got everything you need before you head out on your adventures. Ugh, I slept like a baby. Alright. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you about something important. Rex's pouch. Rex never goes anywhere without this handy pouch. It's great for putting his favorite items inside so that he can always clo has them close to hand. Rex's pouch isn't that big. It can hold just one handy item at a time. So what should you put in your pouch? Well, usually the sort of everyday items you'll find at lifestyle shops. Just keep them close by so you can have all sorts of effects. There are 12 different types of lifestyle shops across all rest. So if you encounter a new one, be sure to check it out. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay, we take fall damage. Huh, it comes back pretty fast though. All right, uh, where was that accessory shop? Here it is. Now let's buy some more stuff. All right, pretty things for every taste. Friend, want to take a look at the accessories? Yeah, let's see what you got. So we already have a vest. Let's see. Muscle belt, 20 strength, 20 ether, auto attack damage by 20%. That's kind of nice. Um, increases HP by 25%. Increases HP itself. Um, I think we're going to go with attack. So we're going to get the muscle belt. Well, I don't know why we'd buy... Oh, I guess we can put them on different party members. And we're going to buy the attack stone. Actually, we have plenty of money. Eh. Yeah, let's buy the fluffy hat. Why not? We can. We won't buy the friendship ring, and we won't buy the vest, because we already have a vest. But, alright, let's equip some stuff. Alright, uh, let's see. Characters, Rex. Uh, not arts. Affinity, accessories, pouch. Um, let's give him the, the brazed sea shark. Because this, yeah, that we got from the aunt. Oh, no, did I just waste that? Is that going to heal me? Maybe I should take that out. Why check contents? Yeah, oh man. So it's duration for 20 minutes. Okay. Alright, so that's how that works. At least now we know. Okay, so you put, and it just kind of slowly goes over time. Oh well. Hopefully we'll get into some battles here in a little bit. Alright, accessories. Oh, you can only put on two slots. Uh, let's put on the Abyss Vest. And... 42 strength, or 43, uh, yeah, we'll go with the muscle belt. All right, 
Affinity chart. All right, increase strength by 20. Wait a second. If we equip... Wait, go back to accessories. Oh, we already did increase it by 20. Yep. Okay, we'll come back to that later. Let's see, is it going to let us get these items? Oh, nice. Okay, we do get it. All right, super useful. Cream orange paratha. Nice, okay. Ten silver cylinders. And some core crystals. All right, I think that was everything. Oh wait, oh we can't. Okay, because we don't have a we don't have a blade yet, so we can't use core crystals, so it won't let us have that one. But that's okay. All right, now that we got some more cool stuff, let's head on out. Oh, done exploring the town. I guess it was this ship that we're leaving on. Yep. All right. Wheeling out the maelstrom for this. Banner sure has deep pockets. Gawking at a boat. What are you, twelve? Wait, maybe you are twelve. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're gonna swallow a fly. What's her problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Gotcha. What, you little... Now look whose mouth's hanging open. Rex, we're heading out. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then, rest up inside. Aye, aye. Later. All right, before you head on a big job, I'd like to explain something a little about selling items and all the rest. You may have already made use of them, but there are business called item trading shops that specialize in taking treasure off your hands. If you sell off items as a whole set, you'll earn a bunch more money than if you sold them off individually. So when you find a precious treasure, don't just sell them off cheap at regular shops. See if you can put together sets for trading shops and make a tidy profit. Okay, that's nice. All right, I guess we'll leave this uh, little place behind. Actually, Razzly Dazzly, let's go talk to him. Hey there. Doing good, Rex? Our gentleman is amazing as dreams. Many people buzzy, buzzy life live lies. But it's also slightly scary. Bumped into Aldranian Man earlier, and he stares straight into Seoul. Razzly Dazzly, hightail out of there. Make enough distance between to make sure they not follow. Maybe come in handy as reference if Rex need to escape from enemy. Thanks. All right, so I guess that just kind of tells us if we run far enough away from an enemy, they'll leave us alone. All right, Sprain, let's do this. Never thought I'd see the day that you'd be riding the Maelstrom Rex. Suppose it's come to show how far you've come as a salvager, eh? Well, I'm proud of you, lad. Now, are you all set? We're setting sail soon, so you'll be ready to board. We are ready. All right, that's what I like to hear. Come on, then. Hop on. We're heading into uncharted territory for this job, you know? I'm getting goose pimples just thinking about it. All right. We should be reaching the Uncharted Zone tomorrow, but there's plenty of time left until then. I guess I should go talk with the clients for a bit. I still don't know them as much as I'd like to. Besides, it's not every day you get to talk to real drivers. Oh, and once I'm done with them, I'd better go see Monel. I'm meant to be on the lookout duty tonight. He won't be very pleased if I never show up. Alright, let's go explore the ship a little bit. The Maelstrom Interior. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Wouldn't want to drop off there, though. It's kind of peaceful up here. Alright, Dromark and Nia. Master Rex, are you prepared to begin salvaging? 
Let us all work together to make this mission a success. Wouldn't have it any other way. Well, he's at least nice to us. You seem awfully quiet. Did you get seasick or something? Of course I'm not seasick. I'm just not used to a ship with this many salvagers on, that's all. Well, if it's wearing you out now, you'll be a wreck by the time we reach our destination. I can handle myself, all right? Ah, Nia, you're great. All right. Rex, it's time to eat, drink, and be merry. It'll be a while until we reach our destination. Get yourself rested and ready to face the trials ahead. That's the salvager way. I'd absolutely love to, but I got a sort of guard duty. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Well, I'll make sure you got your you guard like no one else has guarded before. Wait a second, isn't he the guy that gave us the assignment? Even mindless tasks like that are a part of life's little lessons. <laughs> Booze, I want booze. <laughs> this dude just hanging out here. Bring this man some booze. See, he's happy. Alright. It looks like we can't go out there. Huh. I can't get up there. Let's go talk to Jin. Upstairs. Hey Rex, you're taking over Monel's what oh and it went away. Okay, I guess he wants doesn't want to talk to me. Uh, endless sky. Well, no, no, it's whited out. It is pretty peaceful here among the clouds. Hey, this guy came along too. Hey, what are you doing here? Meh, meh. Ah, Papoonin is uh, taking vacation. Yes, just going on a little pleasure trip. Hmm. That's a little suspicious. Are we, I guess we're not supposed to trust this guy. Alright, let's talk to Jen. Hey there. Silence. You're from Latheria, aren't you? Sure am. I was raised in Fonset Village. The village is right by the Cloud Sea, so I grew up swimming in the clouds. That's why I'm why scavenging work comes naturally to me. I'm pretty confident in my skills, despite how I may look. Very good. Yeah, two word answers out of him. Yeah, he probably means well. All right, let's keep going upstairs. And arrived. All right, the Maelstrom deck. Oh, Razzly Dazzly made it on board too. Hey, Gan. Rex, you're not gonna see Monel and take over Outlook Lookout duty yet? Monel is on the platform just above here. Steps a bit rickety, so careful not to fall off. All right, I'll be safe. <laughs> he still wants his booze. You can see it through the floor. Booze. I want booze. <laughs> All right, Malos and Sir Sever. What do you want, kid? I'm gonna call it Rex, actually. Pleasure to be working with you. So I'm guessing that you're not exactly gonna fill me in on what exactly we're here looking for. That's the idea. Need to know basis. Why are you so curious? Well, sure I am. But I'll do the work I'm paid for, whether you tell me or not. That's what I like to hear, kid. I just hope your skills are more than advanced than your age. My name is still Rex, not Kid. Alright. And this looks to be his blade. That is a pretty awesome blade. Maybe we'll get something like that later in game. <laughs> Evading Malice's attack when you're not even a driver. That's impressive, boy. I look forward to seeing how you handle the work ahead. Is that a compliment? Uh, thanks, I think. Oh, man, this guy will not let up with the booze. Somebody bring that man a drink. All right. Let's go to the lookout point. Monel. So you finally arrived, haven't you? Well, are you here to keep watch or aren't you? Uh, sure. Let's start it now. All right, last I can get a breather. I think I've earned myself a drink or two. Yeah, and go take that take one to the other guy too. It's not looking good too good out there. I'd steal yourself for the worst. If something up, something's up, give me a shout. Don't worry, I won't be drinking myself into a stupor or anything. Alright. Hmm. That's the black ship from the harbor. 
Is it following us? Oof. It's way too cold up here. You? I'll have you know I've got a name. It's Mia. They've started boozing below decks. You should join them. Why aren't you there? It's not that I hate it. I just really don't need a headache right now. Huh. Good thing you're not a salvager, then. Where's that? Swim like a fish and drink like one, too. That's the salvager's code. Oof, sounds terrible. I don't think I'll be changing careers. Hmm, probably for the best. Anyway, I bet you drivers earn a hell of a lot more than salvagers do. So, kid? My name's Rex. <laughs> okay, Rex. Why did you start salvaging in the first place? That there. The world tree? I don't get it. You know, you find all sorts of things digging through salvage. Some of it trash. Some of it treasure. But all of it from people long gone. Have you noticed, though, there's fewer titans each day? I saw one go under just the other day. It was a pretty big one. There must have been loads of animals still living on it. Living space is running out. Day by day. And sooner or later, we'll be the ones sinking down into the cloud sea. But up there, Elysium is waiting for us. <laughs> Seriously, kid, Elysium, don't tell me you believe that gaff. So that's, uh, why you're a salvager? It's just a lie for children. And that there is just an overgrown shrub. If there's a way to get up there, maybe it's hidden below the clouds. Is it really that crazy? Seriously, though? There'd be no need to fight over dwindling land and resources. No need to worry about our homes sinking away. Everyone could have peace and security. I mean, a dream like that, isn't that worth believing in? Nobody can tell you what to believe, but... <clears throat> Everyone, huh? What? I always thought people were pretty selfish by nature, but you... Huh. Do you have parents? No. When I asked Gramps, he told me they died when I was just a kid. Gramps? Oh, the same one who taught you to use arts. Yeah. He basically raised me himself. He's not like us, though. Not like... I'm not sure I catch a drift. But this Gramps of yours sounds all right. Huh. And you're all right too, kid. Not that different from me. We're in position. All personnel, report to stations. Salvage team, suit up and proceed to hatch. All right, guys. Oh, man, the whole ship is tilting. What could be going on? All right, well, this is a pretty good cliffhanger. I think it's been about a half hour, so we're going to end this next episode here, but come back for part three where we figure out what's going on with the storm here. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.